Okay, it's the next day and I've come back to look at my head again. And I do think that I would like to add some finer strokes throughout the head to break up some of these larger um, strokes. I love how it looks around his face, nice and soft. But I'd like to break up some of these strokes right in here too. So, what I'm going to do, and I don't really want to add more hair to him, I just want to blend what he has. I'm going to use the same colors that I used yesterday, the pinky flesh and the brown color that I created with the dark ethnic and the blue undertone. But today I'm going to add a new color made out of the dark flesh and the blue undertone. I've already put some in my palette here. And I'm just going to stir it. I had about two drops of the blue in there. And that might be just a little bit too much blue. Kind of gave it a bit of a pale color. So I'm just going to reach in and grab a little bit more brown. And then once again add some Ultra Matte Gel. Stir that up. Five drops of water. Oops, I think I got six there. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, finer brush from Expressions, the Pro Liner. It's got a long brush, and I think it'll create softer um, strokes. So, of course, I'm going to start on the back of the head. That way, if there's a problem, I can remove it. And I'm just going to bring hairs in. Yes, this brush is just what I needed. This color is very light. Hardly noticeable, but it's starting to fill in some of these areas. And that's what I want. I don't want obvious hairs. I just want the other hair that's here already to have a little bit more depth and dimension. So I'm going to work on that for a while. And I'll bring you back in. Okay, I'm working on this area right here, right now. And I kind of had all the hair kind of going in one direction, which makes sense to me in my head but just doesn't look as natural on the doll head. So I'm just bringing in some swiggly lines and sometimes connecting them and just see if I can break up the monotony of the straight lines yet being careful not to do all the same squiggly lines to replace the straight lines. This color is just right. As you see on the top, you know, I've broken up some of those larger strokes, at least in this section here. I haven't hit this section very much. But uh, again, still trying to make sure that everything's just not going the same direction. And I think once I bring that pinky flesh color back in again, that's going to help a lot. So we'll see how this looks in a little bit. This is one of the places that was really bothering me is right in here where it looks like all these lines are just going the same direction. So I'm just going to go across those lines in kind of a forward motion. And just see if I can't break those up some. It's real important to step back and look at your work, you know, other than just focusing on the little spot. We'll look all the way 
at the head and see how you're doing. I think that's starting to look better, so I'm going to continue to work on that. Okay, I've been at this for about another hour, just adding in some finer hairs, and I've also discovered a little trick. Now, because these are air dry paints, and because they've not quite had 24 hours to cure, I noticed that if I find some thick strokes that I don't like, for instance this one. I don't like this one because it abruptly ends right here. I can wet a toothpick and just go over that stroke and then take a dry wedge and just soften that line up. So I've been doing that over the head and I think it's looking just a whole lot softer and I've got the sun coming through there kind of being in the way but I think the whole hair is looking softer so I've got a few down in here that I think are just a little bit bold like this one and I'm not scraping this paint I'm just rubbing the end of the tip of the toothpick on there and then just blotting it. I don't want to scrape through the layers that are underneath which have had 24 hours to cure. See that? Okay, I think I've softened up those larger strokes all over his head pretty nicely. Now last night I thought I wanted those thicker strokes um, but today I just I just didn't really like how it looked. That's the beauty of the Reborn art. You can change your mind. Okay, now I'm going to take some of that pinky flesh and this thinner brush that I did not use last night. Had a little bit too wet there. And then again going to repeat what I did last night and just add some dimension strokes. Not too bright though, just gentle. And I'm going to do that all over the head. Okay, I am at the point where I cannot put my paintbrush to this head anymore and know what to do. I've added the pinky flesh all over, creating more depth and dimension. And my goal was to keep his hair soft and sparse because I didn't want to cover up the painted part of his head. And as you can see, I've met that goal because you can still see the blushes and the color detail in his head underneath the painted hair. And this is Thomas. Thank you for joining in on the hair painting tutorial with me. I'll see you next time.